Hello. Hello, Sergey? Yes. We succeeded. Good. The person will give you the money today at the agreed place. How do I recognize him? He will be on a BMW. Hello everyone, this is Sergio. Today we have a legend on our review, BMW 750, Body E38. Meet. You have long asked me to shoot this car for our channel. It is really difficult to find a live E38, you can imagine how difficult it was to find the 750th, because under the hood of this car there is a real V12. Since we are already talking about V12, the first thing I would like to start our review with is to raise the hood and show you this beauty. An interesting car in collector's condition, and now everything is detailed. And before filming, we stopped by our friends at Concept Lab so that they cleaned and washed this car to the fullest. Guys, while our car is being cleaned up, let me show you something. On our channel there is such a topic as water technology and here are such beauties we will have regularly, this is the top of the line jet ski that is sold on the territory of our country. This is Bombardier which has 300 horsepower, 310 to be exact. The maximum upgraded version and the price of such a monster is $37,000. A guest of our channel appears in the frame, the guest is the owner of this unrealistic 7, 750 in the 38th body, his name is Maxim. Max hi. Hi all. Max, look, you have the 750th, 38th, I think one of the most beautiful bodies in BMW, here is the maximum engine and, in principle, the maximum configuration. Tell us how it was, how you bought it, how long have you owned it and did you want this car or was it a matter of chance? I have long wanted this car, but finding it in this condition, especially with such a maximum engine, is a big problem. As soon as the opportunity to buy a car, I immediately bought it without hesitation. You bought this car, tell me how much such cars cost now on the Ukrainian market, we are talking specifically about this model because the condition of this car is close to ideal, it is almost collectible. The owner knows this very well and therefore does not polish it once again, do not paint it once again. And tell me the prices. Approximately in this state, the car costs from 20,000. What? Dollars. Seriously? How much did you buy such a car for, I know that you took it for a good price. Yes, we agreed with Sergei not to rob each other. You agreed not to rob each other, which means that you got this car for same money, you are satisfied. Since we are talking about the 750th, I propose to open the hood and enjoy the view of this motor, and the motor is not easy here, now in more detail. We opened the hood and were surprised at the sight of this unreal unit. Very beautiful, I really like this look. 
I think we will speak in more sincere tones. Max, look, we have the 750th BMW in front of us, it's not very powerful, guys, 326 horsepower by today's standards is an ordinary 2-liter turbo engine. It is quite voracious, plus this car is demanding, because the condition is perfect and here is every part of the BMW brand, everything is original. Why did you take the old car and not the new one? After all, for that kind of money, let's say about $20,000, you can take a 7 of the next generation. I like old cars because they have better builds, they have denser materials. She's like a tank, and the new one is nothing more than made of foil. Are these more dense? Yes. I also like the tighter ones, let's move on. I want to draw attention to the fact since the hood is open, guys, why do I like this particular engine, by the way the V8 is also quite good. Everything here is really cool, there are always two elements. Look, there is one filler neck, one battery, two filters, two flow meters, two heads, two in total, everything is as mirror-like as possible, everything is as beautiful as possible, I think that you are paying double the price. By the way, let's talk about prices, is it expensive to maintain such a car? I have had the car for five months. I changed the oil, bought tires, did nothing critical. Now I just drive. Convenient. Now I just drive a collection car, it works out well. I think that the collectability of this car will end on Maxim. This engine has 326 horsepower, here is a 5-speed Steptronic. All right? Yes. Are you not cheating? Does this Steptronic work? Works. Tight. Works well. Good or tight? Very good. Understood. Works well. Do you know what this tank is for? Yes. For what? A simple glass washer fluid is poured into this tank, and foam is poured here. That is a concentrate. Yes. See, here you pour the regular liquid, and here you pour the concentrate. BMW those years did such things, if you are not satisfied that one bullhead bursts in the cold, the second will also burst. So this thing is quite unusual. Still, Max, besides the fact that there's a V12 motor, rear-wheel drive, the box Steptronic is a 5-speed with manual gearshift selection and cool condition in those years. Why did you choose this car? I first of all I think you looked at the condition of the car, say a few more words. Yes, primarily because of the condition. Also, the car surprised me with its equipment. There is a double glazed window, there is all the electronics, seats with braking backs, there are parking sensors on both sides, there are all the functions that are present in modern cars. You yourself showed it to me, and I said, I myself will tell it to the audience. Guys, I did not immediately see that there is a radar here. Since Maxim already said that there are double glazed windows here, let's go show. What is double glazing? Guys, double glazed windows are when double glass is installed in the car, and this is exactly the case here, and this is 2001. There are parking sensors here, we showed you the radar. There are seats here, but this is a little later, we will show you when we survey the interior. What are broken backs? In those years, only BMW was doing this. Guys, the back has a very interesting shape, part of the back breaks at a large enough angle to make it very comfortable for you to ride, this is good lumbar support. The features of this car do not end there, I'll tell you why. I propose to move closer to the hood and show why they love the BMW brand of those years. Of course it's metal. The metal of those years is a cool thing. Now many BMW, many manufacturers even make plastic fenders. Guys, here is real steel, everything is real, powerful and of high quality. Look at the condition of the engine compartment sound insulation, and the car is almost 20 years old. 
Everything is in excellent original condition. I want to pay attention to the optics, now in modern cars, by the way, even in new BMW cars, it is foggy. The car is 19 years old and it is just in perfect condition, it is very beautiful, it does not fog up and I want to pay tribute to the engineers of those years, they somehow coped with this, although the Xenon backlight. Max, I want to give you the floor. This is a rather old model and many people do not know all the features of these cars, and since these cars are almost collectible, there is not much information about them. There are many reviews of 3-liter cars, straight 6 or 4.4 V8. V12 is a very rare specimen. Tell us about the features of this car that I don't know about or our viewers don't know about. How can you surprise us? The peculiarity is that this is one of the most balanced V12, once it was exactly the most balanced. Do you remember the coin that everyone bet? Guys, a coin on such a motor really stood on edge. When you stop at a traffic light, the motor is absolutely inaudible, like an electric car. Only in the 750th was the panel sewn into the skin. Only here. Only here. Is this a factory setting or not? This is standard equipment. If V is 12, then the panel will be leather. Guys, if you have a V12 engine, you'll have everything sewn into the leather. I see some very interesting wires here are these magnetic struts or what? Yes, I don't know much about racks. I will tell. Guys, there is a magnetic ride, roughly speaking, now it is called that, these are racks with variable stiffness, I think so. If I'm wrong, then you correct me. Current and power supply are supplied through these wires, there is a filled magnetized liquid inside, by the way, these drains change their rigidity. Max tell me how this model differs from other models because there are few such machines and there is little information about them. In this configuration, a black ceiling and breaking back, and it differs by the panel and it seems like nothing more. Well done, said everything. According to my information, front and rear parking sensors, and specifically the front ones, were installed starting from the 38th body in the 94th year, before that there were parking sensors only on the rear bumpers, and starting from this model, parking sensors became the standard, write in the comments whether I'm right or not. We are trying very hard for you, it was not easy to find such a car, because there are very few such cars, so I want to ask you to like, subscribe and turn on the bell. We have already familiarized ourselves with the external features of the car and it's time to open the driver's door and show you what's inside, and there really is something to brag about. Let's go. I open the door. First of all, it's huge, it's very cool, there's a very beautiful panel in here. Once Davidovich talked about the beauty of the skin, but in order to understand this, you need to see it yourself, try it and feel it. A lot of buttons on the door, now in more detail. There is mirror adjustment with memory and other things, for power windows, it's very cool that there is a driver's seat memory, there are several additional recesses, everything is very high quality and very cool inlay, we'll talk about inlay a little later. I propose to sit in the driver's seat and tell what's inside. We moved into the interior of our car. I am very proud that we are filming this car, because on YouTube there are practically no reviews of cars with 12-cylinder engines. Enough talk, let's talk about the salon. I pick up the key, it's a normal BMW key of that generation, it's no different from the others, although this car is top of the line with a large engine. 
The only thing that is very beautiful is the owner's keychain. Now we turn this key in the ignition, there is no keyless entry here, we turn the key and see what happens. Steering wheel memory, seat memory, three-zone climate control immediately turn on. Guys, the car is 2001. Today, I will surprise you with a lot of interesting innovations that were then. Here is the usual automatic transmission. We pass to the emergency button and the central locking button, then we see the ashtray. There is also an interesting armrest here, there are two buttons for opening niches. Between them there is a niche for the phone, in those years it was very progressive, I think it cost about a thousand dollars. What surrounds the driver and front passenger? This is a monitor, approximately nine inches in size. There are two heated seats, there is a rear electric blind, there is also a DSC off button and PDC, SEDC buttons. Let's see what they do. I have never seen a leather-wrapped interior on a BMW. Very even stitching, very beautiful seams, nothing cracked anywhere, everything is soft, everything is perfect, everything is cool. Heart-shaped steering wheel, I don't like it, I don't like this shape. I know that there are other variations of the steering wheel. This is a multi-wheel, there is a control of all major systems. By the way, the M Sport steering wheel, that is, this is the M package. The shape of the steering wheel is not for me, but the main advantage of the steering wheel is that it is not altered. There are very convenient cup holders on the center console, by the way, many cars of these years did not even have them. Multimedia base for the generation of this car. I saw one interesting feature, all the wooden inserts here are natural, inlaid with special designs, ornaments and signs, I have not seen such in the cars of those years and it caught me, although Alpina in those years did such things, but for BMW, I cannot say anything. Naturally, our car has a three-zone climate control, in 2000 years, it was amazing, two zones in the front and one zone in the back, when when we move back, I will show you everything. Guys, our car has a very cool black headliner. I don't know how much it cost at the time, but now both Kia and Hyundai produce sports cars with black ceilings, but in the early noughties it was a roofie. I have voiced the features of the front of the car, I suggest we move to the rear. We move to the back of our business sedan and I open the door handle, I won't tell you how great it is, it's just a metal handle. By the way, the stock BMW of the fifth generation E had exactly the same trim, really very high quality trim, as other bloggers said. The most interesting thing is that I have never seen reviews of this body, where the door lining was also sheathed in leather. In this car, in a powerful configuration, this is exactly the case. This door has two speakers, power windows, by the way, there is a curtain. The windows are working. Of course we have an ashtray. There is an interesting button here. Guys, what is this button? I'll talk about this in a few seconds, but I'm interested in your knowledge of the BMW. Look, this button is designed to raise the rear head restraints. I already sat in the back seat, there is one interesting thing here, guys, there is climate control and it works. What's so special about these cars? In cars of these years, there is a problem with all displays, pixels fall out in them. Here, with all the displays, everything is in order. At the back there are inserts made of natural wood with inlay, also some pockets, climate control, seat heating, by the way, in both seats, they are adjustable.
Naturally there is a TV, we can control the TV from here and there is an AUX. Now let's see what is in the armrest. Here is a wooden handle and napkins. The same black ceiling, sensors, handles sheathed in leather. The beauty is in the details. By the way, there is a rear curtain. Click, and click a second time. It's a very cool thing. Ooh, the headrest works. I propose to move even further, towards the trunk, believe me, there is still one thing there. Guys, here we got to the trunk of this Unreal BMW, showing an interesting thing, I take the key and... It's cool, no comment. The same action is performed when the button is pressed. Let's see what's inside our trunk. Welcome. Sorry, this is serious. Battery, everything is fine. The thickness of the upholstery here is not from our time. Let's go further. We open. Everything is included. CD changers. Navigation. By the way, everything is there, everything is working and beautiful. Naturally, all BMW at all times had such sets. Every BMW driver brags about how complete his kit is. We will check how complete such a set is, and I really haven't opened it yet, we are recording almost in one take. Let's see how complete this set is for this owner. Sorry, but this set has it all. I swear I didn't open it. This is very cool because some of the original elements are very difficult to get and the owners are very proud that their car has everything. They may leak oil, they may not turn on the gearbox, the headlight may not light up, or the engine may break down, but the set of parts must always be complete. Guys, we have already seen a lot of different interesting things inside this car, and on the way out I noticed such a cool thing that this car shows its premium, its prestige by the fact that it has a handbrake is a foot brake. That's how it goes down and that's how it goes up, it's really very handy. In cars of premium segment in the beginning of zero years, this function was used, well, not often, but it was. And we close the door and move on. Max, all the same, I will get answers to my questions from you. Look, it's not economical, it's not profitable, such an investment raises questions, the car is very demanding on maintenance, because spare parts for the car are very expensive and it's getting harder and harder to find them. So why is this car anyway? For you, I will answer with three phrases. This is a car as an emotion, a car as love, a car as a dream. I agree, this is indeed a very comprehensive answer, a real man will answer exactly like that, right in the heart, right in the bullseye. We are going to ride and I wanted to ask you again, is this a stub, do you want to say that there is a tow bar here? Yes, he is there. Guys, we are already in BMW. I'm just shocked at how the car drives. It is in perfect condition, very soft, fully assembled, very cool car, it is pleasant to drive. Does this onboard computer work for you and show everything? It showed correctly, but now it shows gasoline consumption, 9.9 tenths, it is unreal on the highway. How much fuel does this car use in the city? 
When the device showed 18.6 tenths, I had about 18.9 tenths, I spotted. That is, this car in a city with traffic jam spends about 18 liters per 100 kilometers. 18 to 22. You have such a button, as far as I know, it's a tire pressure sensor. Right. How does it work? When a wheel is flat, an error message appears here that the wheel is flat, and when you yourself have already equalized the pressure. Does it show which wheel or not? No. Shows that you need to pay attention to tire pressure. Yes. And when you press this button, does it matter, is it zeroing? Yes, when you inflated the tire, you press the button. This blinking appears. There are about eight of them, and it resets to zero. Guys, the completely perfect silence in the cabin is very surprising. Now we are driving on a normal road, we do not eliminate the noise artificially, it's just fantastic, there is not a single creaking sound in the car, there are no extra creaks, no extraneous noise, nothing like that. By the way, the car has 237,000 kilometers, that's what real German quality means. What do you dislike about this car? As the former owner said, there is nothing to complain about. You really like everything in this car. For example, I did not like the shape of the steering wheel. A little big. Yes, the steering wheel looks like a heart, honestly it's not for me, although in those years such a steering wheel must have been very cool. But it doesn't interfere. Doesn't interfere. Here I turn off the ignition, the steering wheel rises, turn on the ignition, the steering wheel drops to its position. Max, how much money do you need to give in order for you to stop under a streetlight right now, get out and leave this car for someone? Everything has its price. 25,000. <laughs> Max, it was at least honest, because some would say, I wouldn't give it for a hundred thousand. But in fact, this car can be bought for 25 on a car sales site, and completely different things are told on camera. I think that this 38th car is the most beautiful 7th generation BMW ever, because it's not the 32nd body, not the 65th and the next ones are not like that. But the last 7 is also quite good. It often happens that I'm driving in the city, and someone stares at the car, honks, skips, points at it, cool. Look, open the glove compartment, look. It is inconvenient to get and you do so. You pull on yourself. There is an original flashlight here, I take it out, guys, carefully. That is, in the 36th body there are also the same flashlights, I think in the 34th something similar. Cool, I love these things, it's very convenient. Max, please tell me about the suspension, the car rides very softly. I know that the front shocks you have with adjustable stiffness, the rear are the same. Yes, rear with pumping and adjustable stiffness. It's time for me to get behind the wheel and see what top-of-the-line business class can do after 20 years. I'm driving a BMW E38. Now I'll tell you what's wrong with the windshield wiper. The windshield wiper squeaks a little because Max doesn't want to change the windshield, it's very valuable to him. The glass is very badly cut, but it is original, so there is a stalemate here. If you make such replacement parts, then the car will lose its collectible value. The car switched gears three times, now we are in fourth, I didn't even feel it. People say that the dual clutch shifts softly, nothing like that, this gearbox shifts softly. A very cool thing is the 5-speed Steptronic with manual gear selection in sport modes. 
Now we are driving 60 km per hour, and the car has a thousand two hundred and fifty revolutions. The gearbox is adaptive. Yes, in those years they began to put an adaptive box, it adapts to your driving style, passes about five to seven kilometers and it adapts. I thought that cars at this age, 20 year olds, would be a little uncomfortable to drive or old in technology, I hope that now at least half of the cars are just as pleasant in motion, comfortable, predictable and soft. Here comes the end of the review on this legend. You know, I was pleasantly surprised that in our country there are still cars in such collectible condition, and there are still people who remember, love and appreciate these cars. That's all for now, Sergio was with you, let's go. Look what an amazing glow. Just do you understand how it's done? Fine. Yes, we can work here, you agree, let's go. Let's go. Why are there two levers? What it is? Are you recording? Yes. Shoot, I have not seen that in a BMW of those years that the skin was sheathed with a torpedo. The skin was sheathed with a torpedo, well said, right? Guys but me. Broke in. Guys. In this car, absolutely everything works and there is an ashtray. In 2001, no comment. Get up, damn it. If it doesn't work, you can just turn it off, it's a very convenient thing. I'm telling you it's going to be a cool thing. Okay, let's include in the not included. Yes. Let's go. Yes. Now you're going to eat pizza, right? I propose to look at least not only at me, but somehow look like that, somewhere there. I propose not to walk very far, but to stand somewhere, somewhere like this. Relax, it's okay, we're just talking. Open up. Open? Open up. Open. Here you need to pull the lever. There, right? These BMW. I think the review will be mind-blowing. It is very comfortable, the motor is very quiet. Are you a telepath? Of course, the 38th body, bro. Seat memory, heated seats, climate control, electric curtains, electric sunroofs, fuck, well everything is electric, everything is here, maximum drive, suction cups, everything is here. I'm just fucking nuts, I'm driving an old car and I have everything, I have 20th year technology and it's cool so I chose this car. We add this at the end. You're like a porn star, posing like a professional. Let's go. Yes. Yes. Not bad, we have everything as always. Let's go. Wait, I'll hide my stomach. Recording. Fuck, what the fuck?